Welcome to Last Epoch Explained. In this episode, we're going to be covering dungeons and the arena and just how incredible they really are. So a dungeon in Last Epoch is a specially tailored area with unique mechanics and unique bosses and unique rewards that you can only find within those dungeons and certain uniques can only drop within those dungeons. And dungeons also give amazing experience and these dungeons can make other things that you have more useful or more efficient. It's, it's amazing. And, and there's more to say about them, but you just know that they're incredibly rewarding and you're not going to find the rewards you can find in these dungeons anywhere else in the game and generally the same goes for the arena and you enter these dungeons and the arena by dropping keys and inserting keys into the entrance area every rare enemy in the game has a chance to drop a key including boss enemies so you're going to be dropping a ton you're going to have more keys than you know what to do with and you can get a whole stash tab full of them which is what i did and now i can just run these dungeons whenever i want to and they all scale incredibly high difficulty wise and you're, you're probably going to die in them quite a lot. So let's first start with the Creme de la Creme, the Temporal Sanctum. This dungeon, after you complete it, you'll get access to a special mechanic that allows you to fuse a legendary potential having unique item as well as an exalted item with four affixes on it. If you'd like to know more about legendary items in general, please check the previous video as we go over all of that in detail. Now this isn't the only reason to run. There are also incredible uniques that you can't find anywhere else in the game, and I'm not going to repeat that for every other dungeon that we're going to talk about as well as the arena because there are uniques that can only be found within these instance areas. Likely when you go to look online looking for a unique item that complements your build that you have in mind, one of them is likely going to be within one of these four areas that we're talking about. The arena, temporal sanctum, Soulfire bastion, or what we're about to talk about next, lightless arbor. Now lightless arbor the community is split. A very divisive topic Lightless Arbor is. Either you think it's a gold sink or you think it makes gold useful and worth having. I think it's both. So after you complete Lightless Arbor, the end reward for Lightless Arbor is basically talking to like a demon door sort of thing from the Fable RPG series. And then it's going to ask you one of two things. Do you want to multiply your loot from this vault that's hiding behind this door in some way? Or do you want to decline? that option and get a new set of options but that will make it increasingly more expensive every time you decline and once you accept a certain amount of options options will disappear the door will open you'll have spent like 50 million gold and then you'll get like everything you ever wanted or you'll get nothing and you'll go and complain on the last epoch forums that lightless arbor is a gold sink uh -huh. so the third and last dungeon is generally the least favorite amongst any player of Last Epoch, and that is Soulfire Bastion. So in Soulfire Bastion, the enemies within that dungeon, they drop a currency, and you can use this currency for upgraded gambling. Basically, that's it. Uh, <laughs> it doesn't feel as rewarding as the other two dungeons, not even by a mile, but it is there. There are some reasons to do this upgraded gambling system, but all in all, it just takes more time and is less rewarding than completing empowered timelines and doing normal echoes within those timelines. And lastly, we're going to talk about the arena. So the arena is super fun. There are multiple stages of the arena that are limited amounts of waves, and then there's an endless infinite scaling version of the arena that has a leaderboard attached to it. Now, a close friend of mine actually hit position one in a hardcore on a blade dancer at one point in time and that's one of his proudest gaming moments in his life because it's it's difficult when you try to get as far as you can in the arena and especially in hardcore you're going to realize just how quickly things scale up so right alongside corruption we have endless arena and both of these are infinite scaling mechanics that uh <laughs> are pretty rewarding and incredible the arena is not as rewarding as corruption in general however it's more rewarding in here not actually in the game, you know what I mean? Deep down, when you have the bragging rights at being the best at a certain mastery within a certain class, you feel on top of the world. You are a cocky son of a bitch, let me tell you. Now, if we had to rank the usefulness in dungeon you'll have the most time spent in, it's likely gonna be Temporal Sanctum, and then Lightless Arbor, and then the Arena, and then Soulfire Bastion. And then if we had to compare how fun each of these four are, it'll likely be Arena, 
and then Temporal Sanctum and Lightless Arbor tied for second, and then Soulfire Bastion at fourth in both lists. Like, they need to buff it somehow. I'm, I'm honestly confused. I don't know. Like, they just need to give it more stuff. All in all, though, every dungeon, the arena, it's all a great time. And if I had to guess, the dev team is definitely planning and probably actively working on new versions of dungeons and new endgame activities right alongside everything else. So look forward to that. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Last Epoch Explained. I'll see you in the next one.